has work to do, and if you frighten him that way, he sure won't be of much use. All right, short stuff. Turn to, muttered Lindsay, reluctantly setting the terrified Darby back on his feet. As master at arms, in charge of discipline aboard the ship, he went about his job with a humorless severity which might, to the impartial observer, easily have suggested a form of monomania. But considering the ease with which this high-spirited crew were apt to find pretexts for skylarking, resulting more than once in the sort of close call which causes aeronauts to freeze with horror, Randolph usually allowed his second-in-command to err on the side of vehemence. From the far end of the gondola now came a prolonged crash, followed by an intemperate muttering that caused Randolph as always, to frown and reach for his stomach. Uh, I, I have only tripped over one of these uh, picnic baskets, called out handyman apprentice Miles Blundell. The one all the crockery was in, it's what it looks like. I guess I did not see it, Professor. Perhaps its familiarity, Randolph suggested plaintively, rendered it temporarily invisible to you. His reproof though approaching the caustic, was well-founded, for Miles, while possessed of good intentions and the kindest heart in the little band, suffered at times from a confusion in his motor processes, often producing lively results, yet as frequently compromising the crew's physical safety. As Miles now went about picking up pieces of the damaged porcelain, he evoked the mirth of one chick counterfly, the newest member of the crew, who was leaning against a stay, observing him. Ha, ha, cried young Counterfly. Say, but if you ain't the most slob-footed chap I ever seen. Ha, ha, ha. An angry retort sprang to Miles' lips, but he suppressed it, reminding himself that, as insult and provocation came naturally to the class from which the newcomer sprang, it was upon his unhealthy past that one must blame the lad's habits of speech. "'Why don't you give me some of that fancy silverware, Blundell?' young Counterfly now continued. "'And when we get to Chicago, we'll find us a hock shop and—' "'I recall to your attention,' replied Miles politely, "'that all tableware bearing the Chums of Chance insignia is organizational property to be kept aboard ship for use during official meal periods.' "'I like Sunday school around here.' muttered the picklesome youth. At one end of the gondola, largely oblivious to the coming and going on deck, with his tail thumping expressively now and then against the planking, and his nose among the pages of a volume by Mr. Henry James, lay a dog of no particular breed, to all appearances absorbed by the text before him. Ever since the chums, during a confidential assignment in our nation's capital, See, the chums of chance and the evil half-wit, had rescued Pugnax, then but a pup, from a furious encounter in the shadow of the Washington Monument between rival packs of the district's wild dogs, it had been his habit to investigate the pages of whatever printed material should find its way on board in convenience, from theoretical treatments of the aeronautical arts to often less appropriate matter, such as the dime novels though his preference seemed more for sentimental tales about his own species than those exhibiting extremes of human behavior which he appeared to find a bit lurid. He had learned with the readiness peculiar to dogs how, with the utmost delicacy, to turn pages using nose or paws, and anyone observing him thus engaged could not help noting the changing expressions of his face, in particular the uncommonly articulate eyebrows, which contributed to an overall effect of interest, sympathy, and, the conclusion could scarce be avoided, comprehension. An old aerostat hand by now, Pugnax had also learned, like the rest of the crew, to respond to calls of nature by proceeding to the downwind side of the gondola, resulting in surprises among the surface populations below, but not often enough or even notably enough for anyone to begin to try to record, much less coordinate reports of these lavatories.